Hello folks, Mal the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with a quick BTS because there's not much to talk about at the minute. I've just been a busy bee. So if you've been following along you will know that I'm reconnecting and that sort of stuff and things are going well and I'm getting myself delved into my Burma build and that sort of stuff but I had the studio open day, what you call it, this weekend. Now it's Wednesday right now, uh, I've taken a couple of days off because what you call it, I was in here all day Saturday, absolutely rammed, loads of people, it was a really good studio open day, I think I had about, probably about 150 people through the door in my studio, which considering how small my studio is, basically meant it was a constant flow of people. Now that's really good, except the one downside is, you basically just have to introduce yourself and what you do to each person who's come in, so it's a bit like a hamster wheel. Yeah, but it was really good. But I was absolutely knackered after that. Then obviously Sunday was Remembrance, so at the Cenotaph parading, yeah, with the kids who are in the cadets, obviously. And that was cold. And so I got I, I got open day lurgy, yeah. I had a duvet day on Monday, started catching up on Tuesday, and I'm in back in the studio on Wednesday. Now, why I'm doing this really quickly is I just want to quickly show you what the studio is set out, because it's never really this nice. So very quickly, let me give you a tour of my studio. Right, so, there you go, that's what they were presented with, yeah, so if I give you a quick tour, yeah, obviously I've got the rest in peace from the book, I've got all the bases here that we did for the basing PDF, yeah, if you don't know what the basing PDF is, it's like it was an add-on that we did for the Kickstarter when we did the book. Okay, and it's available from Ironheart Artisans. You can find it on their online store. Just Google Terrain, just check Terrain Essentials. Obviously, Teddy Bear Fur, that's getting stuck in, going well. Yeah, over here, I laid out, I kind of laid out a bit of the Burma build, some other stuff, yeah, and I got pottery in. So, straight off, obviously, the book. You know, to show people, yeah, 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 I've done a book and everything, yeah. The grass work piece from the book. Yeah, then a little Burma scene. Just show some of my models. I couldn't put the full thing out. And then over there, you can sort of see I've got bits from the book and, you know, pulled out High Peak Pass a bit and that sort of stuff. And so it was a really good day and got to show off all my toys. But. Now the fun's been done, it's time to get really back stuck into it. Now I've been working on my trench systems and all the all the defences and I've finished all those off. I've, I've blended them, all that sort of stuff. So got that done. I did that, what you call it, sort of the, the week after the month, if you know what I mean, start of the month. And then got prepped for open day. Yeah, because my studios were a bomb site. But yeah, all that's been done now. Next on, I'm upgrading my, what you call it, Burma Village. So the Burma Village you've just seen, these. We're giving these an upgrade and my basic idea is I want to wrap wrap the year off yeah with just finishing the projects off to the stage I wanted to get them to yeah so we've got a few projects yeah the trenches were one of them I wanted to get those done and I wanted to do finish off with the Burma build uh, I've had an idea around the Burma build I don't want to go and, and fully announce it just yet but it's going to end up a much bigger set than I'll ever probably be able to properly play with or keep or store or that sort of thing. Yeah, I have this sort of idea of maybe not next year, but the year after. So no committing on this or anything like that. But next year, but not next year, the year after. Taking it on the on the event scene, take it to the watch group, to the various trade shows and that sort of stuff. Not trade shows, wargaming shows. Yeah, and then after that, I'm considering sectioning it off and then maybe raffling it off, yeah, for watch clip for models for heroes. Yeah, but that's a long time down. But I want to get cracked on and what I don't want is lots of half finished or almost finished projects. So this month, watch clip, I'm mainly uh round, rounding up this year, we're mainly going to be pottering with watch call it. We're finishing off Burma build, leveling off, things like thatch roofing, me detailing, all that sort of stuff. Got loads of ideas now on top of that i've been playing with what you call it found a box of these yeah battles at battle systems they're cardboard terrain had them back when we were doing the book yeah and i never really got to really get to grips with them have a proper play yeah and so 
I've been having a nose at these. And they're quite cool. Basically, they're cardboard pieces. Yeah, and you'll see there's little slits in them. Yeah, in those little slits go various re plastic retain retaining clips. Yeah, and you end up with little habitats or big habitats or whatever you want to make out of it. But on top of the actual buildings, which there are plenty of, yeah, I even I haven't even popped all the sheets for, for everything that's here. There's there's a metric ton of stuff just in this small set. I've got the Shanty Town Core set here. They do various ones. They've got a fantasy one. They've got a what you call it? They've got a medieval set. They've got they've got an awesome sort of sci-fi interior set. But they've got like you know stairways, loads of little gribbly things like sofas and beds yeah ac ducts yeah and i'll show you properly what you call it in the future but what i've been doing is i, I was playing with these on, on the open day you know just something to do and i've really got a hankering to perhaps get a battle mat down from one of the battle mats stick it down and just put them on see if i can sort of like go right okay let's make an actual shanty town and make a, a train set out of them one of the things I'm doing a lot more of, and this is a mental health thing, is I'm kicking my, my myself up the backside to sort of get out and game. Yeah, I've been very insular. Uh, full disclosure, yeah, I've engaged with counselling. Those of you who know I've struggled over these past months and had a bit of a, a wobble. Yeah, I'm actually engaged with the NHS and counselling and it's doing great. Yeah, and one of the things that, you know, we sort of talked about was the fact that I hibernate a lot. You know, I'm in that stage where you make up excuses for not doing things that you know you'd actually really like and that sort of stuff, which is always a bit naff and a bit a bit shitty, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, and it's self-defeating because whenever you do it, you end up being miserable. Yeah, so one of the things I'm, I'm trying to do is game regularly with my mate Lee, which is why I, one of the things I've got to do is pack up my watch at Chindits because they're gaming this Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and then the other thing is I need to start getting out to gaming stores and that sort of stuff. Now, there's a couple. There's uh, Bolt Storm up in Leek, yeah, which is a lovely little store, and I want to go back and get some more gaming up in there, but I need to get a bit more regular. Yeah, I went up for a couple of times and then, you know, had me little glitch, and then, you know, I need to get back into it. Yeah, so that's one thing. Yeah, but they do gaming on a Wednesday night, which works. But there's also, uh, in town, there's a board game cafe called The Long Rest. And they do painting sessions on a Friday. And they've got a bar. You can get a taxi from town. Or a bus. <laughs> but that's doable. Yeah. So, uh, those are the sort of things I'm sort of doing. I'm sort of reconnecting. Now, as part of reconnecting, obviously I've been pottering away and producing terrain videos and that sort of stuff. But... I haven't really been going in my comments and that sort of stuff. I haven't been connecting social media wise and that sort of stuff, which is typical for me when I'm on a slump. And as I'm coming back up, yeah, I'm reconnecting. So say hello in the comments. One thing you can really do for to help me right now is like, yeah, if you're watching a BTS video, there's a good chance you've already subscribed, but like and comment helps get this video pushed out, that sort of stuff. Yeah, but in the meantime, uh, over the next couple of days, if you suddenly get a comment from me or a reply from something you commented on a video like up to six weeks ago, then, oh, I'm reconnecting. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you suddenly see hearts and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's all on the path for getting the things going well again. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to wrap this video up because, uh, quite simply, I've got to get my studio together to get filming and that sort of stuff and get stuck into the teddy bear first because I'm really raring and I'm doing my best not to be distracted by this stuff, but it's really cool. I can have some real fun with this. See, I've got to not get distracted. I'm going to get distracted. I know I'm going to get distracted. I'm already distracted. This is what it is. Right, anyway, we've got to crack on. I've got, uh, you've got more videos coming up next week. You've got the, uh, what you call it, the Japanese uh, defensive emplacement that I built. That video's coming up and that's a really good one. Yeah, and then obviously you'll probably have the next video which is rounding off and showcasing all the, all the defenses on the actual table because that's the one thing I've got to film. 
yeah which is why that's my next job which is moving all this sort of stuff getting the defenses out getting it all looking good finish that video and then get stuck into to teddy bear fur now finally to all of you who are sticking along i know the the channel's quiet and that sort of stuff as i'm plodding along and when i get to these stages it's better but you guys who've really got my corner who are sort of around i appreciate it guys yeah i'm not going anywhere still going still cracking on yeah can't keep a good bicycle down so we're going to crack on get in the comments let me know and as always yeah at the end of the video links on screen if you want to help keep me in here it is appreciated it does genuinely help right now but the main thing is engage with me yeah let me know you're enjoying it puts a smile on my face gets me in here creating stuff for you so links on the screen if you'd like to support me obviously there's the patron for the one-off if you're not on that by yet just jump on it uh patron for the one-off patron for the regularly monthly thing the one dollar a month yet yeah. Lights on, cameras rolling, and all that. There's the PayPal and also the wish list. All those help me. But in the meantime, yeah, just keep watching, guys. Right, I'm going to call it. All the best, yeah? Ta-da.